We're following breaking news from Washington. CBS News has confirmed the Justice Department has officially launched an investigation into the cause of last week's collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. Now, we are told this investigation is in the very early stages. It comes as regional bank stocks are rebounding today. They were hit hard by the shockwaves of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank failing. Many other regional banks had to halt trading on Monday after their stocks tanked. Joining us now is Dave Michaels. He's a reporter for The Wall Street Journal. Dave, thanks for being with us. You know, it's not unusual for financial institutions to fall subject to investigations after they collapse. What makes the Silicon Valley Bank collapse different? Well, this is a pretty large bank failure. It's the second largest in U.S. history. It happened very fast. Um, it set off a panic, and there were potential collateral consequences for a lot of the bank's customers, which included some you know, very well-known companies. So I think whenever something like that happens, it's basically regular order for the Justice Department and other regulators uh, to take a look at what happened, um, just to do a fact-finding exercise initially and figure out uh, what management knew, how this all happened, uh, whether management made accurate disclosures about the business, uh, and whether there's anything else that um, that strikes authorities as irregular or illegal. Well, the Wall Street Journal also reports that the SEC will be filing an investigation into Silicon Valley Bank's collapse as well. Is the agency looking into anything uh, specifically that differs from the Justice Department's probe? Well, I think it'll be fairly similar. They're separate investigations, but the DOJ and the SEC tend to uh, more or less uh, look at the same kinds of questions. Now, the SEC's authority is a little bit particular to the public company that owned the bank. Um, it's a company called SVB Financial Group. So the, the SEC is going to be looking at the public company, uh, you know, what, what it said about the bank and, and how stable the business was, that kind of thing. Um, the SEC and the DOJ, as we understand it, are both looking at some trades that the um, CEO and the CFO of SVB Financial made in somewhat close proximity to the bank's failures. So um, that is also not at all uncommon for the regulators and law enforcement to look at stock sales that happened just before a very negative event. Is there an expectation for charges to come stemming from these investigations? It's, it's really hard to know right now. I mean, as you said, it's very early in the investigation. Uh, it's not at all uncommon for the DOJ and the SEC to open investigations, to spend months and months and months looking into something, and then not to charge um, any body or any corporation. That does happen. Uh, this this is, a, is a bank failure. It's, um, it's, a, it's quite uh, unusual, frankly, uh, for that to happen. And the SEC doesn't uh, do a lot of bank, hasn't done a lot of bank failure investigations recently. Of course, there were a lot of banks that that failed during the financial crisis, but it's it's been over a decade since then. So I just don't think we know at this point whether any charges, civil or criminal, are likely. Um, it's going to take uh, a good bit of time to know what the answer to, to that is. All right, we'll continue to follow. Dave Michaels, Dave, thank you. Thank you.